Oh, seven, man. That's the way it be, dog. side though what what he's telling rodney is don't worry about what i'm doing from the command side it's already been you know it, it, there were other officers on scene so bob will have to get a statement and let brian know <laughs> that's all uh in fact, bob's gotta call brian about it now oh, oh, Brian's on the phone. Except he's on the phone. Yeah, traffic stop into server, uh, server health. Yeah. Where is Brian though? Do we have any lieutenants around? Morning, Davenport. Good evening. Welcome aboard, sir. Are you going to say good evening? It's 9.30 a.m. God damn it. Brian, you phone Andy. Interrupt your uh, phone call. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> there we go. What up? Not too much. Not too much. So, <laughs> I'm letting you know, and honestly, I <laughs> I don't even know where to take it. Uh, Rodney just called me and said he went to go check out that scene of the shots fired with the van found a casing and yeah. wanted to know why it wasn't documented and why and i pretty much told him i said it is none of your concern as to how i'm going to handle it who from uh, rodney rodney fuel who's that uh one of the hvtu guys he was all up in arms and I, I i told him you know that if he if he really like wants to follow through with it it, it i don't know he, he collected a casing and he wants to make a report oh yeah you can rep yeah go ahead so I, I'm, I'm letting you know. Yeah, I, I'm. Hold I had, on, hold yeah, on. I, I had to. I had to tell him. I had to tell him. Yeah, no, you can. Yeah, and how did he take? Well, so what I told him was, so I told him that there was another officer on scene, and I had broken off in the middle of it, and I said that because he was concerned about what I was going to do with it, and I said, first off, that's none of your concern. That would be above a sergeant level, and he goes, well, why? Would, why is it not my concern? And I'm like, because you're not a fucking sergeant, and at that point, it goes to an LT. So it, it's it's not your concern from 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 that point. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a statement in probably if he's making the report. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, that's fine. Who are you calling? Oh, Rodney. I was going to tell my shot of loco in the face. <laughs> I just, I'm sitting there and he's, he calls me like, <laughs> really? He called me all upset about it. I'm like, God damn it. So I, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know that he's making a report. <laughs> 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 
did he end up making the report is he is he good like what's what's like what what the fuck i don't know he uh he he I don't know. He said he was going to, and I told him that, you know, if he's got any concern about it, just know that it's being handled from the, the command level up, being passed up the chain, which is just my way of telling him, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Here we go. But yeah, just 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 know that I'm 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 gonna have to get a statement. And if he makes a report, I don't know if he was pulling my chain and just being a, being a <laughs> <laughs> you know, how did how did this conversation happen? He, Wait, called, hold me. Up. he called me and he goes, Hey Flop, so you wanna tell me what happened on that scene? Hey, what up, Luke? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, serious shit? Okay. I'm coming. Wait, what? Okay. Do you need all backup? Right. What? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I'll give him a, I'll give him a call, all right? Okay. Why? Oh, okay. I was, I was like, why is this rattling? That, that's why it's rattling. <laughs> I'm sitting here shaking my head. I'm like Let's go get a repair Dispatch 22076 to Harmony if they're even open for vehicle maintenance. I'm sorry, Tanai. They are open. I just got food and stuff there. Oh, perfect. Awesome. My shit is fucked. I love Medi. <laughs> Medi giggled, and I'm like, all right, we're cool. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Uh, he's denying everything. You want to pick the captain's office real quick? <laughs> he's denying everything? Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, he said, okay, well, you're a sergeant. And then it was the end of it. What do you mean? So you said you shot a local and he said, well, you're, you're a no, sergeant? No, I didn't even get there. I said, what happened down at Little Soul? And he's like, well, I saw flop there. I asked what would happen. He said, it's a like, you know, you made your statement. He's like, oh, okay. And then he said, he to himself said, well, it's above, uh, he's a sergeant. So what can I do? And he left. Well, that's because he so. came. So he originally came at me, you know, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come down to the captain's office. We'll get this guy sorted. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. All right bye bye. Uh, well. <laughs> What up, Diody? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Flop gets demoted over local. I'm assuming, I'm assuming, <laughs> I'm assuming Medi is probably loving this. It, it's, it's great. The, the, so there, there's a level of like honesty though, that comes with, uh, like, you know, for, for, for dumb term SBS like this, right? The, 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 the problem that we fall into is when it becomes serious, it's time to like lock it in and, you know, Hey, you know, you, you found, you found the casing all right make a report if, 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 if. where did you come from motherfucker that's a car there no that's a car that appeared out of fucking nowhere
I see your engine light. I was in front of Harmony when Brian called me down. What do you mean? talk to you in just a second i'm gonna get this wrapped up all right so uh getting what now that a me and no. flopper here oh yeah uh so uh what's the uh so give us the rundown like what went down oh, you you want to know what i spoke to flop about yeah just like like run the scenario back oh okay so myself and espinos were driving along i noticed the black van on uh ginger i just done some uh impound requests for other illegally parked yeah. cars I got. You. I noticed the truck was slumped over on their seat, and uh, so myself and uh, uh, I suppose pulled over. I got out of the car, checked on the individual, noticed that there was blood coming from them. I was a little bit curious and what. I got you. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, Davenport, give me a call back. Um, so, yeah, I, I had a little bit of a look around and noticed that uh, there was, uh looked like the, the driver had been shot. So I called Flop, asked Flop what happened. Um, Flop heavily implied uh, it's not my problem. Uh, and if you no, no, like no, no, no. make a report about it. What I said was what happened on scene. And you said, well, what are you going to do about it? And I said, that's none of your concern. Well, yes. I asked him what happened on scene. He said that, and he told me it's not—it's none of my concern. It's uh, uh, above sergeant, and if I want to, I can make a report. And then okay. I went back on normal patrol. All right. Is that accurate, Flop? Um, I mean, you, you kind of left out the whole part where I told you what happened on scene. Well, yes. You told me. You told me that uh, Brian uh, asked for seventy sevens for the black van. Uh, um, and said that the black van was taking off. Uh, the black van uh, was driving away. Brian drove in front of it, uh, got out, opened fire on the vehicle, and said that it was a local. All right, fantastic. So whose idea was it to write the report? I haven't written a report. I just went back on control. I gotcha. Bob, was he planning on making a report? Well, he asked me what he, he could do, and I said, you, you, you can make a report. Hold on. Hold on. That's 100% incorrect. That is exactly what I said. No, no. You said, if you want to, you can make a report about it. I didn't ask what you wanted me to do at all. Yeah, I, I you, suggested you, if you, you wanted heavily to. Implied, mm -hmm. You heavily implied it, it, it's not my place. Fuck off, right? No, 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 no. That, that's, I, I, need okay. to, I, need, I, I need to clarify. Your concern for the actions I'm taking are not your concern. What you want to do in the capacity of regular patrol, hmm. you can do. So are you gonna are you gonna leave out the part flop where I said I don't care what you're gonna do about it? Huh? I literally when I was asking you, I, I said I don't care about your thing because you said that this is above sergeant. Uh, which implies to someone who's below sergeant, fuck off, it's not your fight. Yes, that's yeah. what I was implying when you asked me what I was going to do about it. And then you told the me only, if I want, only... I can make a report. Yes, and you can. I never said I was going to make a report, but you're the one who implied it, not me. Okay. Yeah? Sure. I, I, if, if, okay, if that, if, I'm glad we got there. If that's the confusion, then yes. But I want to just clarify. The difference between you making a report... And the part that wasn't your concern is that if I had to make a complaint on Brian, it would have to go through an LT, which would at that point be above a sergeant. Hmm. That's what I was implying. And if there's any confusion, I shot that fucking local in the face. <laughs> any concerns with that? Any reason you did? The fuck are you questioning me for, pussy? <laughs> oh, well, you see, uh, I care about the local city. Right, get That's the 
Yep, you're right. Was I? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because you wouldn't. He wouldn't have made that last statement if he didn't give you attitude on the scene. Yeah, I mean, he he called yeah. me. He called me with attitude, and I said, if we if we really want to go down this road, I yeah. said, yeah, technically, yes, it would be above a sergeant at that point for repercussions. If if, if it was deemed, I would pass it mm. up. If he wants to make a report, I'll gladly make a statement about it. Oh yeah. But you and I both know kind of where we were coming from with that, which is why, and if, if he wants to, then I'll follow through. But you know. I'm glad to know that we're on the same page. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, don't let, uh, you know, just for future, just uh, something to keep in mind, right? Someone mm -hmm. presses you like that and they're a lower rank on some dumb shit, you put their dumb ass down real quick. Yeah. Because they're going to question you on small shit, they're going to question you in the middle of a shootout. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that that's kind of where I was going with them, so. Hell yeah. I appreciate it, appreciate Brian. Appreciate you, Flop. <laughs> that was, I, I don't know why it was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why that was so funny. This shit is fucked. Oh no. Have fun. All right. <laughs> oh, it's, it's definitely seen better days. Yeah, you know, I mean, the engine light just came on, so I figured it was time. <laughs> All right, it's a flop, right? Ah, uh, yes. All right, there we go. <laughs> Great. Sorry, I was just finishing up some notes. Oh, you're good. You're good. Fuck your notes. Hey, fuck you. Oh, that's that's <laughs> what I'm going for. Oh, fuck. That was funny. By the way, Chad, if you guys are the stream, I'd be enjoying your stay at the fall, but I'd love to come back. God, oh, dude, that was so funny. I don't know why.
He never made the report? Damn. I like that he threw it when it was like, hey, I blasted a local in the face in Little Soul if anyone finds casings there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. How's your day been? Uh, it's been all right. It's been kind of uh, slow for the most part, I would say. So it's, it's, it's kind of been a little, little boring. Yeah, today's been a little, uh, today's been a little, I, I, you know, I, I can't, I can't complain that it's a slower mm -hmm. day. I'm going to be honest with you. We've had a lot of really busy days recently that a day where I get to kind of breathe and be on duty is. Oh, it could definitely be refreshing rarity. every once in a while, for sure. Did you want to go and get your, uh, repair kit and wax on it today or nah? Um... You know what? I think I'll be good today. I, I have two repair kits. I should be all right. Okay. All right. You should be all set. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Awesome. You have a good day. You take care, right? Oh, you do. Radio check. Radio Thank you, L1641. Hey, yo! 22476 to the 1011 on Sonora. Alright, how you Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, I have my final schedule. Wednesday with, uh, Ooh. Ooh. Maple's got a final coming up. Good for him. Hey, Maple's going to be a fucking full cop. Look at that. Maple's done really good. When's yours? When you coming through, man? Um I don't know. I guess we'll find out if Flop gets fired first for watching Brian shoot a local. Um. Ah, uh, Davenport, just need a 77. Uh, I don't see anything up here. It was only a 1011 call, so. Hey, firm. That was hilarious, not gonna lie. Well, there was like a moment there where I'm like, oh shit, things just actually got serious. So I like, I panicked because I'm like, oh shit. All right, lock it in. I mean, listen, the, the, the reality is if it were to go somewhere, it would just be a matter of flop saying. Try to take Rodney's FCO position though. Nah, I, uh, for, for flop though, for flop, uh, he like, flop is a character we'll say, right? He's stirring the pot. Uh, it's late and he laughed. Listen, if it goes somewhere, it goes somewhere. The reality is, if Flop turns around and goes, you know, hey, 
you know, this started off kind of silly at first. And we literally every, like all one, two, three, four, four officers on scene, you know, had a giggle. Um, and, you know, if I were to turn around and say the moment Rodney called was when I realized that things got serious and follow through. Uh, if I had known from the start that that's where things were going, then that would have been different. I'll take my strike points. And that'll be the end of it. I mean, you know. But honestly, <laughs> Medi's probably fucking cooked right now. How long has he been around? That motherfucker. Uh, let me grab. Sixteen hours. Yeah. Start, time to start a hate RP arc. Nah, I mean, listen. Some people, some people take the the the, the cop stuff a little bit more serious than others, and I mean, it's it's that's fine. You know what I mean? For what the fuck? Sixteen and a half hours again. Dude, Medi goes fucking in, dude. Glad to see him back in purple doing his thing. Mm. I want to catch up that motherfucker. I can't turn like any other car does. No time for sleep when there's subpoenas. Diody, I'm currently waiting right now for somebody to send me 15. This match show 561 operating under 335, Poked on Baldur's Gate 3, good luck. I don't know where that car went. They probably made a right. He loves seeing Rodney uh, flopping around and trust each other a little less. Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen, that that's that's that that's all in good fun. Good old good old uh, stirring the pot. You know what's crazy is seeing Brian and Flop's relationship where it's at, considering Brian killed his brother. However, what's Oh man, can like a big L today with the helicopter. Enjoy the RP day. Hey, Eric, I appreciate you being here. Listen, a lot of people in my chat were saying that it was really sad how it, it ended. My rebuttal was that I think it ended in the funniest way possible. Dispatch uh, 446, we have a vehicle that's like uh, stolen. I know from San Vitas. Pound stop is going to be between San Vitas and the Eclipse. 220. 220. 55, 66. 220, hold off. Total. Yeah. Yeah, we're seeing three total, please. I'm breaking off. Um. Yeah, I won't respond the other seven units are called in here. Yeah. Uh. something i'm about to hit 100 hours uh player y'all want to see something crazy yeah i mean we're, we're, we're sad for pigeon right i'm, I'm sad for pigeon because pigeons had a lot going on but i think the fact that pigeon trusted pigeon put any fucking trust in uh <laughs> put any fucking trust in uh, oh, what the fuck is his name? I'm 
I'm drawing, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Carmine. Carmine, Carmine, Carmine. Especially 31, 10, 31. Holy shit, good morning. Good morning. Any actives or is it quiet? It's dead. I believe Espinoz was on a 1060 vehicle. Uh, by St. Vitus, I think he has sufficient units. Gotcha. Actually, Espinoz or Rodney's status. Mission kick. Got it. I was rolling in the, uh... Is that quiet that that's the first time I've ever heard like eight units respond to a 77 request in like three seconds? <laughs> I'm gonna attempt to get him out of the vehicle, so he's gonna play, it's gonna be now. Paladin, Paladin and Solar Run. I've been doing Ranger, dude. Oh my god. Everything with animals has been so fun. Just going up and talking to it's a fucking rat. Vehicle. Damn, I'm feeling really good today. I don't know why. I'm in a I'm just in a good fucking mood. Granted, today's been busy, but I'm just I'm feeling good. I'm checking because I can. Yo, liquidity. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. How you doing? How does how does uh, Medi continuously like rock these fucking insane hours? I mean, I don't get me wrong. Forty five, ten, forty one tonight on motor. I love it. Good morning. What up, Dan? Hello. He's addicted. Hey, listen, I'm 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 happy for him though. You know, I mean, listen. He's back and he he's putting his fucking time in where you know he he wants and I I'm like. So if if you guess what time it is. That's that's awesome though. To not be limited is is incredible. I would hate to be limited. Just get back up from a nap. Nice, dude. I had a quesadilla earlier with barbacoa. A barbacoa quesadilla. Twenty-four. Who's the actual lead for uh, motor now? Uh, it's vacant right now. I'm the uh, shift three supervisor, but that don't mean shit above i the supervisors are the current leads until there's like a a change oh, basically was this thing yeah. break the six that active 80 black and color strat i'm playing for the 38 eastbound eclipse boulevard 45 76. i've already got three units 35 secondary continuing eastbound eclipse we'll grab a repair uh, so uh, let me try and find the channel well, unless we have dispatch. Right, South Mountain, Las Lagunas Boulevard. I'll find your channel, stand by. <clears throat> Radio check. Radio check. Channel one for your 80, channel one is available. Hey, film transitioning, secondary 50. Hi, right, Davenport, you on free? Go up to uh, the barn across from the Redwoods Lights track. Okay, I'm just on Sonora now. See you there. Uh, Tara, are you doing training? Yeah, I'm for training. Yeah, fuck it. 220. Everybody who's participating, go to the barn. You don't have to bring anything. I'm bringing a rhino. Tara, I'm coming along just to spectate. Sure thing, boss. 
How did you find a rhino? Is that like up in the hills? Yeah, I went out hunting in the wild <laughs> and I found this bush and on this bush there grows this seed and when you eat it you ask very stupid fucking questions, Blob. Alright, 10-3. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> hey, you set yourself up for that one. <laughs> He's been trying the mushrooms in the mountains. They're endangered, Flop. You should stop this guy. We, we all know what license checks really means. Listen, the last three bodies I buried haven't been found yet. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, Taro, do you want to just put a 3 one one out for the rifle chaining? Just in case anyone else wants to. That's not on Yeah, sure. Did you guys say the barn across from the light strike? Yeah. Let's go get some M4 training. I'm never going to use the fucking M4, but let's get some M4 training. Hey, Anna! Hello, brother hey, of how mine. Are how are you? Well, why, are you why are you yelling at me? The what happened? The windows down! My hand's out the window, and I feel like a dog! Wow, okay, so you're living your best life right now, huh? I'm free as fuck! I That's love wonderful. America! <laughs> okay, why, why are we so joyous? Um, I don't know. I might be getting fired. What? Why? <laughs> I watched a cop shoot someone in the head. <laughs> uh, context? Yeah, we shot a local in the head. Oh, well, I mean... Yeah, that's what I said. Someone... Well, locals be trying to kill us on the daily, so... <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I have news. What's up? Check my yellow page ad. It's gonna be like, I sell crack cocaine. No, Call absolutely me. not. I have never touched drugs before. Oh shit, the fucking workshop happened? Yes, and Andy chose me as deputy mayor. Well, congratulations, so, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm the two time now. <laughs> you are deserving of the position and you've done so much to, uh, fulfill so it's, yeah. it's not a surprise i appreciate that i figured you know since you shared your big news with me i would share my big news with you um it is a little delayed i had to go out of town uh back home to texas for a family thing but uh i'm back now so yeah, it's all good yeah so how are you i'm doing all right i'm actually about to be in a meeting Ooh. so i uh Okay, yeah, doing sergeant things as yeah, we do. Yeah, I'm about to learn how to yeah. use a class two, so I don't know. Oh, okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. So, okay, well, I will let you go do your thing. I just wanted to call you and check in. Um, we, I do want to get together uh, sometime relatively soon and just kind of, you know, check in, talk, catch up, that yeah. kind of thing, if that's okay. Let's do lunch or something at some point. I'm down. Yeah, all right, good. So yeah, just uh, I guess I'll call you because I can't really <laughs> rely on you to remember. <laughs> it is all good. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. If you could do that, that'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I will I will do that. You be careful. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon. All right. All right. Love you. Love you too. Bye bye. Congratulations. Bye. Where is it? You think it's some kind of a joke? Would you fit it in the back? You think, you think you're gonna fucking cram a whole ass rhino in the back of a goddamn armored vehicle? I'm sorry. I love you, Turo. <laughs> okay. I know not, not a lot of people have been here before, so. Except my car has released. This is the HBTU, uh, I guess, headquarters? It's the Star Place. We own this entire plot of land. We own those three houses. We own this big house. We own that barn. It's all ours. 
uh, the primary thing that we're going to be entering today is this barn. Uh, Muller over here went to court for this place, so, you know, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, is really? that still happening, by the way? Someone told me that's still well, happening. When, when Vale is back, the court case resumes. So. <laughs> oh, my God. Really quick. Yeah. If you guys yeah, are marked 10 8, just mark yourself 10 7. We're about to lose a few units oh, on shit. patrol. I just marked mm. everyone 10 7. You Thank legend. You, <laughs> All right. Uh, let's start by. Everyone dispatch. should go to the back of the Rhino and grab an M4, and I'd say about three or four boxes of ammo. What is it? Am I blind? Well, who needs fucking pistol ammo? Cause I'm a moron. Oh no, I could use some. Nope. Cool. There you go. Pistol ammo for somebody. Go wild. Can you buy me an extra thing of rifle ammo? Uh, here, take care. I think uh, to start off. Let's, let's, uh, once everyone's ready, I'll show you what the inside of the barn looks like. It's not completely Hi. finished yet, <laughs> but it will be soon. Mark me. This 23 latest 10, 10 off of Barbarino. Sexing. So you're aware, of, um, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units that are going to be 10, seven for rifle training. So just be wary of, uh, oh, getting into any situation. Oh wow! Uh, oh fuck! Four seventy-seven, seventy-six to right. Well, this is well. fucking I'll be sick. There, two mics. Yeah, shit. I'll uh, I'll inform Tara. Welcome to rifle wow. training. Or that's fine. Hey, uh, yeah, Tara, you've got one more coming. We're pretty up good right now. Who? Uh, you've got a uh, so uh, Chura coming as well. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, I'll wait. You, I'll wait there. Are we gonna be in on a separate meantime, channel on radio for this? Uh, you can just probably just turn your radio down a little bit. Okay. Because we're probably just talking here. Yeah, this is um, this is our, our our facility. Behind you, you got some armory and uh, there's a locker room. We got a, a this fucking really sick. really badass fucking shooting range. Yeah, this is really cool. This is really cool inside all of it. It's uh, it's still in the works. So on the on the floor above this, we want to make a kill floor, which essentially, oh Muller, did Stubble tell you the idea for the kill floor? Yeah, yeah, he's the whole, done like, some of it. I don't know whether you've seen. Yeah, 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 the twenty four seven everything. Yeah, the twenty four seven. He wants bleaker, so the... someone wants to make like different rooms that just connect to each other, like the like, and then there's like a street, and then across the street there's a little remake of a twenty four seven interior, so we can like practice breaching. Nice thing you use an AU diode. We had five on duty yesterday. Can yeah, you imagine have that? Churro here. Uh, I mean, we can give you guys a little tour. It's not completely done yet. I. Uh, this is this was like impromptu when we did the forehead apprehension. I don't know if any of you are uh, around for that one. We set up like a, a sting off for a gun deal in here. We, we caught him. He fell right into. In here? Gun. Well, no. This is where we planned it. You know. Jesus. Yep, Chief yep, on ignite yep. five is our average dude. You, you would make room. such a great fucking like leader too, yeah. in a position like that. Very important. Very nice. That's where we keep our khaki pants and everything. Got the gym. Cause we're never not oh, working out. Wow. We got a garage too. Now a lot of stuff like this is still in the works. Uh, our decorator is actually a uh, Lennon Lee, commonly known as uh, Bane. He, uh, he's a really, he's a really good decorator. Actually, he loves decorating. I want to play fucking dark and darker, but sock is on fucking right, Baldur's see. Gate. Yeah, uh, the upper floor, we can take a quick look at the upper floor. It's, uh, it's nowhere near done. I say I'm proud knowing company, that at peak times, the PD is sometimes a quarter of the you know, 45 the people in the server. That's like crazy. He gets some sleep. Yo, Eric, thanks for coming over with the kind words and everything and all the support. Genuinely, I had a lot of fun today uh, with uh, the, the the role play. I hope Pigeon enjoyed it and had fun. I, I'm trying to I'm trying to give it like some effort for, uh, for people to, you know, have fun with it. Overall. I think it'll be a pretty sweet deal once it's wrapped up. A little dark in here, but uh, 
And I think Stubble wants to do like a room here and like a living room over here. So kind of like a like a, a a place to clear and yeah, okay, like a breaching training. And then there'll be like a a street kind of like here. Uh, <laughs> and then this will be like a twenty four seven on the other side of the street that we can track the breaching. Still very much you know in the works. Stubble put these shells together yesterday. I'm pretty sure he forgot a few screws, but uh. Right, sorry. What's what's new with that guy? Get, becomes high command and he's just too busy all of a sudden, huh? I don't want to say I get it, but. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I get it. Hey, Churro. Uh, Eddie, get yourself a, an M4 and some boxes of ammo from the back of the Rhino. Oh yes, sir. Damn, it's Is five o'clock in the morning is, uh, already? What the fuck? you'd ever like configure if you knew you were going to have to go into a building or something that's, you know, like high risk? Would you ever try and configure up yeah. there? I mean, into, like, honestly, Coyote, yeah. I would be super down. we got a lot of stuff down. to our exposals, so, um, like, we could probably, you know, grab, like, an RC car or something to scout out what it looks like and then recreate it to practice our, uh, our breaching. Replicate all the gang compounds. That's really yeah. cool. There you go. Ooh, that would actually be kind of interesting. Do, like... That or we just make like a them, mini, you know, like I did for Gulag gas station. I mean, that would work, but I was gonna say like a mini barrio. Oh, true. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we're uh, we're very much practicing, like you know, just general tactics when it comes. Like, let's say they hold out inside of that, like the big old rust building at the at the scrapyard or something. We gotta gotta be aware of how to reach our corners and everything. All right. You always call well, you lead the PD one day. I was just saying that earlier to Nikita, which is funny. I was like, man, I've been uh, saying so forever he's going to run the fucking PD. Modules. And here he is running the PD. The first few are very much like just basic information and introduction to the entirety of the M4. Uh, those of you have, who have handled a SCAR before, uh, it's very similar in vain. I will say the M4 has a lot less of a kick to it. Uh, but it does have the Dude, same Dude, I want to go hang out outside at some point. It's so nice out tonight. Through your eyes. Uh, tends to uh, it's uh, take away that it's like, kick. So I don't want to say cold, that. but it's like uh, it's low seventies. Oh God, I wish. Scar. Oh, it's gonna rain all day. Um, no. Let me pull up my really fancy document. Uh, I, 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 later, later. Okay. Somehow ruined again. Yeah. Humidity is a hundred percent though. Yeah, this guy Fuck put like off. a paragraph, and then one half is on one page, and the other half is on the other. It's it's not good. Okay, so uh. I'll start initially with like the stuff about the cert. So I, again, it, it is on the roster. There is an M4 please, logo please careful, on the roster so they will come back um, where you can see the different types of instructors and leaders and all that jazz. So yellow as usual is the unit lead. Uh, rifle cert is no, essentially underneath the HVTU. It's kind of like, like a, it's a thing we do. It's this thing we kind of completely careful, handled. Right? Uh, unit supervisor is going to be purple so they're just overlooking the rifle cert and everything uh an orange rifle cert on the roster means that they are an instructor who are part of the hvtu so they're an hvtu instructor uh and then a blue one is a regular non-hvtu instructor um and then green is regularly certified after this training today you guys will receive the green tick uh and be allowed to carry this in your locked box and then use it per approval of command. Uh, this, you know, obviously you flop your command so you're automatically started, but it's good to take part of this training so you kind of know how it works. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll quickly read out the mission. The advanced firearm certification provides access to advanced equipment to the greater police department. Advanced firearms are available to any officer slash deputy in the line of duty. However, to utilize such tools, they must be certified by an instructor of the advanced firearm certification and a member of the Unified Police Department Command Plus uh, must have approval, uh, must be approved for any deployment in active scenarios. So only command at the moment can approve this. Maybe in the future, there will be times where higher ranking members of the HVTU can approve this stuff as well, but for now it's just command. All right. 
the stage one. So like I said, there's seven stages, but the first stage and the second and probably the third two is pretty much all the basic you need to know about like weapon safety and in general why we carry these firearms around. So this part is a little annoying, so I hope you pay attention. It's just, you know, I got to read some stuff to you. It is necessary. All right. All officers share a common duty, that of a sworn armed officer. This reinforces a common set of values, and with the rifle certification, you'll further share the common force in readiness. Rifle certified officers are the first to confront the enemy and are the last to wreck their weapon once conflict is completed. Rifle certified officers need to be prepared to carry out their mission objective and adapt to changes in a level of threat that is unexpected in any situation. When deadly force is required, Riflemen or women must be able to deliver well-aimed shots to eliminate the adversary. To be combat ready, riflemen or women must be skilled in techniques, procedures, or rifle marksmanship, and take proper care of their service rifle. To operate as a rifleman or woman without sufficient training in the use of their individual weapon carries undue risk for every officer on the field. These things are incredibly dangerous. I'm pretty sure most of you have handled the shotgun or the scar before. No. Nope. And know the risk. It is, uh, it is something you need to handle with care. You need to take care of this weapon. Losing this weapon is incredibly dangerous. Blatantly carrying around in public will have it put a target on your back because I'm sure people, uh, like yesterday, even Reed Dankleaf has been asking about M4s. So we got to we gotta make sure those don't end up on the street. All right, stage two is pretty much a, uh, a objective of today's session, which we're, we're going to cover weapon safety, your weapon system, close and long range engagements, uh, engaging targets from covered positions, from open positions, for covering fire, a sustained rate of fire, and a moving target. Any questions so far? No, sir. Wonderful. This is good. Stage three is all about weapon safety. Before we go through and actually firing our weapon, this is the last stage that I just got to explain to you guys. Uh, safe service rifle handling is critical. If proper weapon ha weapons handling procedures are not observed, the officer risks both his safety and the safety of his fellow officers. During combat, the officer must react quickly, safely, and be mentally prepared to engage. To ensure that the only the intended target is engaged, the officer must apply the following safety rules at all times. These are the four primary rules that you're going to follow when carrying the M4. Rule number one, treat every weapon as if it was loaded. I don't want anybody seeing their gun flying around or uh, just holding it like it's a piece of plastic. These things are deadly. We kill with these things. Keep that in mind. Rule number two, never point a weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. I don't want anybody being funny and, uh, oh, let me clean out my barrel and looks right at, right through he's it. He's a great reading voice. Oh, or, yeah, he's, uh, he's be a he's jokester great. and aim at one of your friends. I fucking... That's incredibly fucking stupid. <laughs> if so... you uh, misfire, accidentally uh, hit your trigger while you're aiming at, the, at your friend, you're going to get charged for murder <laughs> of a government employee. Rule number three. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your fingers straight and off the trigger until you are ready to fire. A target must be identified before moving your trigger to the in, motor. Your finger to the trigger. As I'm demonstrating right now, you can see my index fingers laying on the uh, on the entrance of my magazine and not on my trigger itself. All right, very important. These things, uh, we we try to do our best to keep that safety moving, and uh, I hope you guys can as well. Did we lose somebody to a head pop? I see. Uh, on the ground. Oh. Was it Muller? Uh, no, I think it was Breakaway. Oh, breakaway. okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we're going over the shooting range, and Breakaway can do that in a minute. I want three of you to uh, take stand in each booth. We can swap them out afterwards. There you go. Oh, yeah, well, you want to take the first one? Yeah. All right. Close range targets. Uh, at close range, trigger control should be applied quickly and instantly 
the moment that sight picture has been uh, achieved. Sight picture is what we refer to as when a target crosses your sights. If you see a target moving and is you confirm that it's your target, you're clear to open fire. Now, for close range, you're not going to use any single fire. That's really stupid. There's three modes to your weapon. Are all of you aware of how to swap in between those modes? Mm -mm. If you're not, yes. I suggest reading the instruction manual right now and making sure that it's all set up and ready to go. Personally, uh, in my instruction manual, changing burst rates on weapons is, feels a little similar to uh, setting a fast lock in your car. Because you'll never change it in a car and you'll never set a fast lock on foot. So I suggest you guys do that now and let me know when you're done. All of you. I'll I've check up on it. Classic Dan. Uh, Toro, can I ask a stupid question? Yeah. Where did you say that the, uh, this document was? You mentioned it, and I was trying to find it while you were talking. I didn't want to miss what you were saying, though. The document that I was reading? Yeah. It's internally for the instructors. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, okay. So everybody got that muscle going? Being able yep. to swap in between firing modes. Okay. Just, to, just to double check, you want us checking out our weapon, right? At this point, I just... Yeah, go go give that a test. And, yep, uh... I'm good. I can... I can... I'm going to be honest with you. I'm all good as well. I have no idea what he's saying. What about you, uh, you two? You guys are good? I'm good. Yeah, I'll be good. All right, okay, I'm good. So, uh, there's three modes to this. There's single fire, there's burst fire, and there's rapid fire. All right, this uh, full auto type fire is uh, your best friend when you're in close range. Uh, you guys have, I'm gonna give you guys, use 15 of your bullets in your magazine. Uh, to go ahead and test out that burst fire and get a feel for the recoil on it. So, uh, unholster your weapons. Make sure you're facing the range. Range is hot. 15 bullets, no more nor less. Go for it. You, you want full auto? Just full through? Hey, firm. There you go. You guys got a feeling that kick? It's a little less than the, uh, than the scar. I'll say that much. Yeah, respectfully, but, yeah. <laughs> but it's not nothing. This is your best friend in close quarters. For the, about the same distance that me and Flop are from each other, I am never going to use single fire. I'll get ruined. Uh, the, 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 the recoil on this weapon tends to just, uh, you know, go up. If you start from the center mass, you'll eventually end up at their head. So very close range is uh, where you want to make sure that you're using your full auto. The further you go, the slower your shots, the slower your shots go. So burst fire, uh, single fire for very long distances. If a target is moving, which we'll cover more in a bit, try and aim in front of them. Aim where they're going to be. This weapon is not a laser. Your bullets don't go a bajillion miles an hour. Be aware of that. Oh, I do Most have it targets set up. will be running around. Let's say we're on the freeway. We see some guy at the bottom and he's sprinting toward his friend. Shoot a little bit in front of him. You'll get him. All right. Let's uh, swap you three out for the other three. You guys can give that a shot as well. Again, full auto, 15 bullets. Nice. On holster, range is hot. Go for it. All right, good work. You guys can stay in there because you're going to test the next, uh, the next step. All right. Mid to long range, like I said, single fire or burst fire. 